Hello to everybody, I'm Marco Beato, Associate Professor in Sport and Exercise Science. Today I want to show you how to run a non-parametric alternative to pair t-test with JASP. So in the previous tutorial, we learned how to analyze our data from a descriptive point of view uh, with this function. So if you click here on the descriptive, you can uh, select the metrics that are interesting for your analysis and evaluate, for example, the central tendency and the distribution. If you want to evaluate this descriptive analysis with your metrics, watch the previous tutorial. In this specific tutorial, I want to show you something different. So if we click here and we select independent sample test, we have the opportunity to evaluate the difference that there is between two groups. So for example, I select my groups A and B and I select one variable that is our dependent variable in this case standing on chat baseline this is exactly what we did in the previous tutorial and in our previous tutorial we evaluated the difference confidence interval lower and upper the fx size we evaluate also the descriptive um, uh, analysis of our groups group a and group b as you can see you have the mean and the standard deviation of both groups here but the most important thing is that if you check the uh, assumption normality and the assumption equality, both these tests show that the assumption are confirmed. So the right test in this specific case is a student's t-test. It is a parametric analysis. What happens, however, if we select another variable that uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't respect, for example, the equality of variance? So I select a counter baseline, I click here, I select a group, and I move this group variable here. And you can see that the software run for you a Levin's test and show you that there is a significant result that suggests a violation of the equal variance assumption. So we cannot run a t-test anymore. We need to run a Welsh test. The Welsh test is a test that, that requires normality distribution, but it doesn't require equality of variance. So now we can check both this assumption and we see that the normality assumption is respected. At the contrary, the equality of variance is not respected. So we have a p-value that is minor. 0.05, so in this case, 0 0.030. So we cannot run, as I said, a CNC test, but we need to run the Welsh test. So what are the next steps with this analysis? Are the same one that I just described. You click here on location parameter, confidence interval, FX size, and descriptives. And you can see that the software report your descriptive analysis for group a and group B with mean and standard deviation, and you have your p-value, mean difference, confidence interval upper and lower, and the coin D fx size. And you can see here there is a not Welsh t-test. If you go here, the country above, you can see that the not report students t-test. So the first one is a test that is performed when both normality and equality are confirmed. The second test Welsh t-test is performed when we have a, a normality distribution, but we don't have equality of variance. Now I want to show you also a third option that we have when we run an independent sample t-test. We suppose that both the assumption or normality and the equality of variance are rejected. It's not exactly the case in uh, with our database, but uh, as an exercise, we can run this test anyway. So we uh, click here on independent sample t-test. We suppose that our counter jump post is not normally distributed and also the uh, assumption of equality of virus is rejected. And uh, we run, instead of the student's t-test or the Welsh test, we run a man Whitney test. So this is the test to run when both assumptions are rejected. So uh, if we click here on location parameter, competence interval, fx size, and descriptive analysis, you can see that we have our group A and B with the mean and standard deviation as we have seen in the previous cases. But when we watch the tables related to the man with a new test, you will see that you have an edge lemma estimate instead of a mean difference. 
and you will have the lower and upper competence interval, but for the Hodge lemma estimate. And uh, this is slightly different compared to the 95% confidence interval for the mean difference. But the main difference is here in the COND. So the first test, student t-test, reported COND. The second uh, Welsh t-test reported again the COND. But when we run the uh, man with a new test, you don't have a coin D, but you have a rank visarial correlation. And this rank visarial correlation cannot actually be compared with a coin D. So to do a summary for the last time, when your data are normally distributed and you have a wealth of variance, uh, you need to run a student test. When you have data that are normally distributed, but when you run the uh, Levine test, you have a significant results. You need to run a Welsh t-test. When the country both normality and the quality of variance are rejected, you need to run a man with a new test. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you enjoy it, uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much.